Hey, welcome to Bama Q TV today. I'm Eric Thomas from the Rolling Grill here on behalf of Western Wood. And today we're doing a Jamaican redfish escaviche. So before we get started, we're gonna start with the escaviche. Escaviche is basically just a pickling for the, re for the uh, red snapper. So right here, I've already got some red peppers, some red onions rather. I've got some scallions. I've got some red and orange peppers and I've got some carrots. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. You want a julienne your peppers. No particular way. You don't have to be fancy about this. You basically just want to cut some nice little beautiful strips. Throw them in there. If you want, you can add a little scotch bonnet, not a scotch bonnet pepper if you like a little heat. Or if you don't like scotch bonnet, you can use uh, some jalapeno, whatever you like. All right. Onion, white onion preferably, but the red onion gives it some, some character. It makes it look cute on the plate. You know, the ladies like that. All right. Just want to peel your onion. And of course, you just want to nice little thin slice. Watch your fingers. That's what you're looking for right there. So we've got all that ready to go. Our scallions. Nothing fancy. We're going to chop some of them up and then some of them are, is going inside of the fish actually. This is like a hodgepodge, like just throw it in there. Whatever you like in your pickling. Same thing you use to pickle cucumbers or pickles. Same deal. Only difference really in escovices is it's spicy, it's really spicy. We'll use this one to go inside of the red snapper. All right, so we're going to put all of this out of the way. And what we'll do is go ahead and get our beautiful red snapper. All right. This is big boy. This is big boy territory right here. This right here is eight pounds of beautiful red snapper. And today what we have, we have Chris here from Alabama Gulf Seafood. Chris, tell us about this red snapper. A red snapper is uh, obviously very important to Alabama. We call ourselves the red snapper capital of the world. Oh, wow. Because we have more artificial reefs and uh, more red snapper than any other state. And, okay. Uh, and not, it, not only is it beautiful, but it sure is tasty and, it and is. cooks up a variety of ways. It is. Well, today, I don't know how you like to eat it, but today we're going to cook it whole. We're basically going to, it's such a massive piece of fish. I mean, we're just going to cook it whole and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to make some nice cuts on the bias. This is a big fish, very deep. So make as many as you want. You don't need cross hatches. You definitely want to cut off all the fins. All right. Now, now that we've got that done, simple process. I'm going to go ahead and stuff it. I've got fresh thyme. I've got scallions. I'm also going to include a few of the onions, a few of the peppers. This same stuff is gonna go on top, but anything we can do to add flavor, I'm all about that. All right, now, me. I always like this, I prefer extra virgin cooking spray as opposed to the bottle when it comes to this application. It's easy, it's clean. Got some of my seafood dust right here. You can use whatever, Cajun season, whatever. Old Bay, and you want to go heavy. I mean, this is a big piece of fish. We ain't playing around here. Big piece of fish, it can take a lot of seasoning. You want to work some in the, in the cuts, if you can, and then come back over it. And then before I, I always come back with a layer of olive oil to kind of lock it in. That's our cooking side. This will be our presentation side. Because a fish this big, we're not flipping it. There's no need to flip it. All right, again, same deal. If you want to put some lemon halves in here, you could, of course, but we're gonna get enough bang and citrus, and, I mean, bang and, and vinegar bite from the escovice. We don't need to do that. And then again, come across the top. And there we have it. Beautiful, big, beautiful, eight pound red snapper out of the Gulf of Mexico, Alabama's finest. So. 
Live TV, baby. We already got one ready to go. But before we get to cooking on that, let's go ahead and make our escovies. Really quick, really, really quick. All you need is a cast iron skillet or any kind of pan over here. Matter of fact, let's do two things at one time. You can use white vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I happen to have some coconut vinegar. If you can find it, good stuff. I don't measure when I cook, but I would say that's probably like a half a cup. Do it like you do liquor. Just keep pouring. All right. Of course, we need some, some garlic. As much as you like. I like a lot of garlic. Now, to give it that good Jamaican vibe, you have to have some pimento. It's called allspice, but it's pimento. And it's a whole. It's a whole. I'll put some right here. It's a whole, like a little, it's like a, a black peppercorn. But you want to put a few in there, I'd say about maybe eight or, eight or nine of them. And then, what else am I missing? The star of the show, the vegetables. But before we put the vegetables in there, let's go ahead and get this, let's get our burner heated up. All right. And this right here is going to take about five minutes and we'll be done. We want to get that heated up. Also, sugar. I'd say about three tablespoons of sugar. It's just like a pickling. If you like your pickling sweet, add more sugar. If you like it a little bit tangy, pull back. But if, if you notice, I didn't add any salt. There's gonna be enough salt and flavor coming off of that fish. We don't wanna do that. So, in here we go. And we just wanna heat this up. Once we get this heated up and we start adding these vegetables, we just really want to break down the sugar. And with the vegetables we go. Now that's a big fish, we need a lot of vegetables. We need a lot of vegetables. All right, let's get a tongue. Uh, let's see. We don't have a tongue, don't worry about that. You want to have it on full blast. This is cast iron, so it's going to heat up pretty quick. And basically, we just want to heat this through, like I say, for about five minutes. We don't want to wilt the vegetables like you do a pickle. We really still want them to have some beautiful crunch. But man, when you see this on a table, the presentation takes it over the top. Takes it over the top. And if you've ever been to Jamaica or some of the Caribbean islands, then you've probably more than likely seen this a few times. So while this is cooking over here, let's turn our attention to the star of the show. The big boy. The red snapper that we already have done, because this is live TV, folks. Feast your eyes on that. Eight pounds of beautiful Alabama Gulf red snapper. Now, the trick to it is to get it to that cutting board without it falling apart. So, to do that, you definitely want two spatulas. I'm not worried about it sticking. I sprayed it down pretty good. But that's the reason why I didn't flip it. You have one side, that's your presentation side, and if the bottom, if the skin on the bottom tears up, who cares? All right. And there we go, folks. Let's take this beautiful thing right to the table. A lot of folks are skittish of eyes. Don't bother me, not one bit. Now, while that's sitting here resting, we'll turn our attention back to the escovish. You don't need any oil in this. This is a lean fish, uh, really firm, not fatty like salmon or trout. So uh, it'll work perfect with this vinegar. Now, if you wanted to speed up the process of breaking the vegetables down, of course you could hit it with a smidgen of salt. This is SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic. You just want to cook it down. And we'll let that go. And if you notice right in here, I've got the fresh scallions. I've got some pepper, got some onions. I mean, this is eight pounds. This took probably about 25 to 30 minutes to knock out. But it's beautiful fish. And you can tell it's cooked. You can start to see some of the white fat coming out of there. And when you press it, it has good push. 
it's cooked through it's beautiful so let's get that up here let me move this back let's put the star to show up here get this pushed back and we should be ready to rock and roll in a few minutes now as always you always got to taste your food and really all i'm checking for is to make sure i got enough sugar the balance is good for me i like mine on the tangy side so this is perfect all right we're going to cut it down the residual heat from the cast iron will continue the cooking process That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for right there. All right. Now, I am gonna put on a glove because this cast iron is gonna be smoking hot, this handle is. We all know cast iron conducts heat. Well, let's go ahead and make this thing look pretty. I always start with the juice. And again, you can make this like a day ahead of time just don't cook it all the way. It'll be perfect. I like to start with the juice. The juice is where it's at. The pickling, shall I say, is where it's at. Perfect cutting board to catch all the drippings. This is a crowd pleaser right here. And now, let's make it look like something. When you cook, you always want to use your hands. Nothing can make it look better than your hands. So let's go ahead and glove up. It's hot, but we'll be all right. And you want it all over, all over. It's a big fish. Everybody needs to get a little piece of the peppers. And that, my friend, is a beautiful Jamaican Escaviche red snapper straight out of the Gulf of Mexico, right here in Alabama. I want to thank you all for joining me here at BamaQ Live. I'm Eric from the Rolling Grill. I'm here on behalf of Western Wood. Catch you guys on the next one.